Now, Meg, you've got uh, a lot of cricket coming up, but before we get to that, what's what's been happening in, in your world? What, what's the winter held for you? Uh, I have spent a, a little bit of time up in Brisbane training at the NCC, but also some good time at home uh, in the cold Melbourne winter, um, which hasn't been too much fun at times. I think we had um, a zero degree morning the other day. So, um, yeah, but it's been nice to enjoy some, some time at home, I guess, with the, the family and friends before we um, gear up for a really big summer. And some study. I understand you're <laughs> cracking the record for the longest ever PZ degree. Uh, yes, I've managed to take 10 years to complete a three-year course. I'll be finished in November, though. I finally um, got that last subject. Um, I enrolled myself in the subject to make sure I finish it because um, I need a deadline. But um, yeah, exercise, health science, I'll be all done. Great. And you're beating some of your teammates though because I understand Elisa Healy and Elise Perry keep registering in things and not finishing. <laughs> I think they're halfway through their respective um, uni degrees. So yeah, I've got one up on them. Um, so it'll be nice yeah, to have that certificate, I guess, to say that I've graduated. Yeah, great. And so um, you've got a lot of cricket coming up. So starting with a, a great series uh, on the 29th of September at North Sydney Oval. What do you think um, it's going to be like with the AFL Grand Final playing as a precursor and then everyone staying tuned to their televisions to watch the main event, which will be your clash with New Zealand? Yeah, we're all really looking forward to it. I'm a, I'm a Swans fan, so if, if, which we won't be, we're in that Grand Final, I'm not sure what the lead up's going to be like. I'm usually pretty stressed when I watch the Swans play. They, they drive me mad sometimes. So um, yeah, the, the curtain raiser to our game is the AFL Grand Final and uh, hopefully we can um, you know, put on a good show and um, have a win. And then after that, um, Malaysia, and then World T20, you head off to the West Indies. Uh, have you been to the West Indies before? I haven't been to the West Indies, no. I came into the side just after that World Cup there in, in 2010. Um, I've heard some amazing reports of, of what, it's, what it's like over there. Um, so we're in Antigua and Guyana, um, so um, not Barbados, unfortunately. I've heard that that's a pretty cool place to go, <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe another time. So when you're on tour, you've got, um, of the, the three months between now and Christmas, you're on tour for the vast majority of it. So when are you going to get your Christmas shopping done? I might have to be in the West Indies, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not usually a very good Christmas shopper, to be honest. I usually leave it till the 24th of December before I buy anything. So it looks like that'll be happening again. Well, I hope you get them in and I hope Santa's good to you with some uh, <laughs> great results on the lead up to December. Thanks for joining us. No worries, thank you.